not really morning uh, anymore but today I thought I'd film a little day in the life of a university student I will sit in front of the light here I'm at the end of working with my thesis it's due in three weeks and the past two weeks or so uh, we have been waiting for feedback from our professor we got it a little later than we were supposed to and when we finally received the feedback um, it was on a older version of our thesis so he was supposed to send it again this morning and I didn't sleep that well this uh, this night because I didn't really know what today was going to be like for a while now it has been a little unknown and unclear um, waking up in the morning don't really know if I'm going to do school I wake up a little earlier if I know I have school to work with so that I can feel a little more productive and I did wake up quite early and checked if the feedback um, was updated uh, with the new version of our thesis and when I saw that he hasn't been sending it yet I went back to sleep and I woke up pretty late and now it's uh, over 11 um, and I actually forgot to put our thesis in the mail when he said oh now it's finished today was not a day that I could just sit in the couch in my pajamas and work with my thesis I had to get semi ready as if I was going to school put a bra on get out of my pajamas and get up to my little office corner to kind of force myself to sit up straight and be more focused I ate a good breakfast I had a little morning meditation sorry for the light and now I know that I don't have that many hours before my fiance is coming home and I have to drive him off to a train so I will try not to think about how much time I have and not put myself in a very stressful state of mind and I'm going to make a little list of what I can do now and look over the feedback uh, what I usually do is write a list as I said and then look over the feedback that he comes with and answer and sort out comments uh, from the feedback and then I can just uh, check off my list I don't have that many routines in since it's been so many weeks of waiting back and forth and then working a little bit and sending it in again don't, not really knowing when I receive it and not really have that good of rut that good routines so I usually set my alarm on 30 minutes to kind of force myself to be a little focused and then usually after those 30 minutes I'm so focused I just keep going for another 30 minutes uh, but other times I need to take a little five minute break or so let's just start with writing a list for today okay so my list is going through his comments and also the comments from the academic writing center update my friend that i'm writing with because she can't write today we usually are in the document at the same time often and sorting uh some comments each but today I'm kind of working alone and uh, so I have to just update her later and then double check with the older version that he uh, gave us feedback on yesterday just to make sure that we solved everything he wanted us to solve and let's put our glasses on <laughs> and our alarms or my alarm at 30 minutes and let's start
so it's about two hours later and this is exactly what I meant uh, about putting my alarm on 30 minutes because it kind of forces me to sharpen my attention and focus for just those 30 minutes and sometimes it takes me more than 30 minutes to focus but what happened today was that I was really focused and sharpened uh, my attention I allow myself to take a little break after those 30 minutes if I need to or I continue and I put my I usually put my alarm on new 30 minutes but what I did today was after those 30 minutes I just kept going and then after an hour I just took a ba bathroom break and I kept going till I was finished because it wasn't um, so much new writing today it was just fixing comments if it was writing I would probably need more breaks but it was just fixing things and I crossed off everything on my list so I went through his comments and uh, my professor's comments on my on the new document uh, and I what what took a lot of uh, concentration and focus uh, kind of drained me a little bit was going through the other document at the same time since <laughs> he gave us some comments there that he didn't include in the new one uh, but we I wasn't sure if we actually fixed that or those comments so that was a little exhausting and then I went through some comments from the academic writing center which is just something which is not something we have to do it's just to improve certain things when it comes to uh, our choice of writing uh, sentences that is a little off for structure we can book academic writing center and we have been doing that for the biggest parts uh, like uh, introduction and discussion part and conclusion so that was very helpful and we're going there again next week um, with the final uh, result so she can uh, go even deeper into the sentence and structure and stuff so this is very good I fixed everything now I'm a little drained I am going to go for a little walk uh, and just go through everything again with a clear mind just to double check if there's something I can actually do now except from the fact that I'm updating uh, the vlog right now I usually go for a walk without anything on my ears I just want to have a mindful walk where I can take a little break and get ready to work again so yeah I usually go for an hour or so maybe not that long now it's rain in the air but yeah the purpose is just getting some fresh air and a little break for a little walk in the rain it wasn't a long one it was around 35 minutes and it was a nice walk in the rain watching the flowers and listening to the birds but I was so hungry I didn't realize how hungry I was uh, so that was kind of painful I was almost dizzy so it was definitely time for lunch probably haven't been eating enough throughout the day now I just want to look at the changes I made today with clear eyes and see if there's anything else that I can do. But yeah, it's uh, limited how much I can do before my friend has checked everything out as well. Still have some time so it's okay. My fiancé is on the way home right now and my plan was to uh, go to the gym when I drive him to the train station uh, since I live 
quite far away from the gym. I don't want to drive so many times uh, down there. I will say this is a pretty realistic day for me when I uh, when I work from home. Usually I wake up a little earlier, but I'm not the kind of person who wakes up at 5.30 then goes to the gym and then, wor uh, then work for six hours. And that is mostly because I live so far away from the gym. <laughs> but I like to have some kind of movement uh, early. Sometimes I go for a walk before I start or, or I break it into sessions like today. These days it all depends on our professor kind of, uh, when he can give us guidance and when he can give us feedback. And also since I work with someone else and it's uh, kind of the last finish now, uh, there is quite some waiting, some appointments at the academic writing center as I said. So it's basically just trying to hold on to a routine as good as possible. So yeah, trying to have some routines and some structure uh, with working out and with working out and when I start working with my thesis for the day. But yeah, as I said, it all depends on the people I'm working with, my professor, how I'm working that week or that day and everything like that. So for me, it really helps making lists and force myself to get up, take it seriously, focus, break it up to break it into sessions. So that is very helpful for me. And it's a pretty realistic day and way of working even though it will vary from day to day and week to week. Now I'll just get an overview again and get ready for the gym. This is my little study nook by the way. It's a little messy. It, this is where the magic happens I guess. later and I went to the gym I had a pretty long and good session and then I went home and made some dinner I tried to feel myself at the gym a little bit but it's so out of my comfort zone and I'm trying not to be too much on my phone and I don't want to film other people and when I was alone I took a few clips but uh, it's just not my thing <laughs> but I tried a little bit to include what I did since this was uh, a realistic day in the life of a MSc student and yeah just wanted to share what a typical day can be like for me as I said it varies a lot from day to day and week to week and lately especially I haven't really known anything from day to day and that has been tough because I never know when I'm going to work usually since I'm a substitute and they just call me when they need me or they text me sometimes in advance if they know but usually it's pretty spontaneous from week to week and now that school has also been like that, I've been lacking a lot of structure and routines. And I've been trying to make the best out of it by going on lots of hikes and be with friends and do as best as I can. Uh, but yeah, it was good to do something again. And I know that I have quite a lot to do going forward. It's not much left. When I was at the gym, my professor actually sent me a third version of what we sent him three weeks ago because the version that we got uh, this morning, when I asked him about something, he said, oh, I actually haven't been reading it properly yet. I can send you another one today with some comments. And so, yeah, 
after the gym and after my dinner, I've been spending a couple of hours actually doing the same adjustments that he did to our documents in the document that I've been working on now, instead of having so many different versions of it um, and just bombarding my poor friend with comments and adjustments. So at least I know that tomorrow I can get up pretty early and crack on it again. And yeah, I like that to have some kind of plan. Now I'm pretty exhausted and I'm going to take a shower and leave the vlog here uh, before my shower. I'm not going to include shower clips. It's not that kind of a YouTube channel, but yeah. I noticed that I struggle a bit to calm down now, but I will try to relax. So tomorrow will be probably the same as today, just with knowing what I'm going to do when I wake up. So that feels good. Hope you like this little video. I really like watching other <laughs> students <laughs> kind of routines and tips and how they work and stuff. And it will probably be my last one ever. Uh, not that I've made that many, but I've made a couple. And yeah, I'm very, very, I'm finished very, very soon. So. Hope you liked it and I will talk to you soon.